Imagine charging your iPhone in less than a minute. You might be able to do this in the next couple of years. Typically, a smartphone takes about an hour to fully charge, but an Israeli company, StoryDot, has a posted video of a prototype for a cell phone ba battery. It appears to charge an iPhone in just 30 seconds, according to StoryBot. StoryDot, sorry about that. The battery continues to charge after an unplugging unplugging it from the outlet. The next challenge is making the technology small enough to fit inside today's smartphones. The battery show, shown in the video is about the size of a pack of cigarettes. From Coachella to Comic-Con, Ronnie Das has your entertainment report. Well, thank you, Marcia. It seems like festival season is in full bloom. But uh, first, a uh, little bit of sad news. It's been 20 years since rock legend Kurt Cobain passed away. But he's being honored this week as Nirvana gets inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Best known for the hit song Smells Like Teen Spirit off the band's second album, Nevermind, this grunge band from Seattle set the stage for Green Day, Pearl Jam, and the Smashing Pumpkins. The underground stars started with their career with Kurt, Chris, Kurt Cobain, Chris Novoselic, and Chad Channing for the first album in 1989 called Bleach. But the band changed its drummer from Chad to Dave Grohl, and the rest, as they say, was history. A young man with a ton of talent, Kurt Cobain, you will be missed. It's officially the first weekend of Coachella, the annual migration of hipsters, artists, and music fans into the desert. As you soak up the sun, either weekend, enjoy your audio adventure with some easy listening tips to stay safe and have fun. Grab a few friends on the ride to India for Carpool Cella. Be sure to write it on your dash for a chance to win tickets to the festival for life. As you bake or roll around in the sun, it's important to wear and reapply sunscreen, as well as drink plenty of water. Accidents happen, but tragedies can be avoided with a simple first aid kit and by staying in a group or at least telling a friend where you're going at all times. Of course, most importantly, rock on, music fans. If you're not able to take out that loan for Coachella tickets, San Diego has some amazing shows coming up as well. Catch Howie Day this weekend or Cypress Hill on Thursday at the House of Blues. Humphreys by the Bay has a little something for everyone this summer with musicians like Tom Jones, Ingrid Michelson, Danny D. Kane, and the Beach Boys, as well as comedians Steve Martin and Russell Peters. Also enjoy the sounds of San Diego with local acts like Vocab Company playing tonight at Irenic in North Park an amazing opening mic night at Red's Espresso Gallery in Point Loma, and Royal Wednesdays at Diamond Gyms in Chula Vista for reggae acts all night. As stormtroopers get ready to invade San Diego for the annual Comic-Con Festival, a plot twist from the Middle East shows how international comic book culture has become. The 2014 Middle East film and Comic-Con kicked off earlier this week at the Dubai World Trade Center, where high attempts didn't stop sci-fi fans from dressing up like their favorite heroes. Celebrity cameos at the event included Taylor Kish from Battlestar, TV stars like Sylvester McCoy from Doctor Who, Giancarlo Esposito from Breaking Bad and Revolution, as well as the very animated Seth Green, known best from R Robot Chicken and Family Guy. But the biggest attraction for fans at the convention was a multi-million dollar comic collection which included original Superman and Spider-Man comics. In other news, uh, locally, the Media Arts Center of San Diego is celebrating a one-year anniversary for the Digital Gym Cinema tomorrow. The paper anniversary celebration will include movies, music, raffles, a silent action, and champagne toast. The Digital C Gym Cinema plays independent fiction and documentary films from all over the world since opening last April it has shown over 120 films from more than 30 countries. Tickets for the reception event are only $10 and slightly more, combined with movies, Ninkasi brews, and food from Chastity Bites. The Media Arts Center of San Diego is at El 2921 El Cajon Boulevard, near the 805 freeway and right by 30th Street. The reception begins at 6.30, but the fun starts at 2. So a lot of fun events coming on this spring. Are you guys uh, headed out to any concerts or any kind of music? Well, I love Coachella, but I'd rather get Comic-Con tickets for life. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and I love going to the movies, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Sounds great. Thank you, guys. Will the sunshine continue through the weekend? Mark Henry will give us the update on what we can expect.
Excuse me. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. My internet connection's acting up. Do you know anything about hot spots? You know, if you angle yourself 45 degrees to the north, your computer's Wi-Fi card will uh, extrapolate the router signal more efficiently. Hit enter. It's going to come up with a dialog box. I'm looking forward to the weather this weekend, but also looking forward to the lunar eclipse. Mark Henry is here to tell us all about it. Yes, lots going on on that. Um, a total lunar eclipse is, appear, is to appear over North America in the middle of next week. This is the first of uh, four events to take place about every six months. It's also known as a tetrad, giving the moon a blood red appearance as Mars lines up with the sun and Earth. The eclipse will be spaced six months apart over a two year period. This is uh, very rare. So uh, get your telescopes and binoculars ready. Uh, the first will begin at 9.53 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Weather-wise, uh, we have an, uh, at airport, it's 77 degrees. Excuse me, humidity, uh, we have some surf, uh, three feet. The ocean uh, temperature is 58 degrees. Sunrise is at 6.20 a.m. and sunset at 7.16 p.m. Out in the mountains in Julian, we're at 70, 73 degrees high with a 42 low. Ramona at 80 with a 44 low. And the valleys, Escondido 79, 53 low. And we have some uh, mild temperatures nationwide. Um, that's pretty much what's going on right now. Thank we you for that mini practice. Mini, 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 mini forecast. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, and that is. It for this edition of New Scene. I'm Marcia Villavicencio. And I'm Antonio Marquez. Have a great weekend.